I think we're at the cusp of a new age in medicine, and imaging is such an important role. I think the Martino Center's imaging technology is really focused on helping us see what has previously been unseen and really pushing the envelope of what we can see in the body. If we can see something, we can intervene. The work that we do here at the Martino Center is unique because we are able to be situated in the middle of a world-class academic medical center where we're seeing the challenges that the clinic is facing and we're seeing the problem firsthand and we're able to turn around and innovate based on that real need. And I think that that really does differentiate us. One of the things that's really you know special about the center is that we not only kind of apply the tools of modern imaging, but we build them. We're not dependent upon tools that we may buy off the shelf from big vendors. We really have the opportunity to just imagine an idea and then bring it into practice. We're not just developing tools and instruments to see into the human brain and body better. We're really using these tools to better understand disease and then ultimately improving the ways that we can diagnose and treat diseases more precisely. This uh, multidisciplinary nature of the center is embedded into our DNA, if you will. We need the clinicians to really help us focus our attention to the most pressing and urgent problems that they have. But we also need the creativity of the physicists and biologists and their deep training and expertise to know what tools are available to really bring to bear and leverage for answering the clinical questions that arise. I think that's really where the magic happens. Everybody is working together in concert, bringing the best of their expertise to the table. We can really move things forward from an idea to an actual technology that patients and their physicians can use. The other element of our culture is we really put a premium on creativity. Everyone is focused on their research, but everyone is kind of thinking about what, what's that next step? How could we take this idea and do even more with it? Our strength here at the Martino Center has really been to develop cutting edge, in many cases, first of a kind imaging technologies. We were one of the first sites to develop and demonstrate ultra high magnetic field imaging using seven Tesla magnets. We were one of the first to actually develop and use the combined uh, powers of positron emission tomography, PET imaging with MRI. We are one of the first places to develop connectome MRI technology. The first mobile MR scanner, which is now on the market and that is in many hospitals across the world, came out of intellectual property that was developed in the Martino Center. The development, which we now call functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, is one of the really foremost discoveries and inventions that have come from the center. And of course, is used by hospitals all over the world, but also used by cognitive scientists and neuroscientists just to study the basic mechanisms of how the brain works. We can really accelerate our impact by working with partners, especially industry partners, that are able to leverage the manufacturing capabilities, the sales and marketing, the channels that they have already established. They've used some core technology that was developed here and translated it into a commercial system that will touch thousands of patients a year. We have a lot of new technology that's coming into the Martino Center in the coming years one of which is a full body PET CT system, which will allow us to image essentially the whole body at once, looking at the brain body connection, understanding those connections that really have not been studied to date. With the ability that our molecular imaging tools will be to spot where the abnormality is, see it at its earliest possible times, monitor our health in a routine basis, and look for perturbations in that health so that we can intervene before there even is presence of disease. And maybe that's the other advance, moving from a model where we're imaging disease to where we're imaging health and the preservation of health and intervening to preserve that health before uh, disease even develops. I'm very excited about being able to make these technologies more portable. 
the prospect of wearable and implantable devices that a patient can take with them to observe sort of how a drug or a, an intervention is actually affecting them um, on a day-to-day -day level in their natural environment. Also, the advent of artificial intelligence, being able to parse through that data and provide answers for the doctor as they're monitoring patients with these devices is critical. The opportunities are really limitless in terms of what we can do if we can bring these technologies to patients at that level. I think that as our technologies uh, become better, as they become less expensive, as they become more powerful and the kinds of things they can see, I'm discovering that, in fact, we can do much better than we had imagined. It would not surprise me at all if tools like MRIs were much more ubiquitous. Maybe every doctor's office has an MRI scan. That kind of future is imaginable in the next 25 years.